Good morning, folks. It's Max Convexity. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's look at the, uh, well, let's look at a few things here. Let's look at overnight futures. I'm trying to do this a little bit early today. The market hasn't even, the cash market hasn't even opened yet, but futures are so flat. But NASDAQ's unchanged. I mean, S&P's down a nickel. In other words, five basis points. It's nothing. Russell's up 15 one hundredths of a percent. So uh, I'm going to take Jacks on a walk this morning and do some other stuff. I'll be back later. But let's look at uh, let's look at the profit boxes. Let's review what we have. All right, on QQQY, our max profit is up here at eighteen. I guess it's eighteen one ten. <clears throat> eighteen one ten. I think my line's a little bit off. But anyway, all right. So 18110's max profit and break even is down here about uh, 1815 or so. So that must mean they got about $95 for that. You can do the difference and back into how much they received for their thing. So I just did the math real quick. $95 loss off by a little bit. $91. They got 94 yesterday or 95 yesterday. They got 90, 91 today. All right. Well. This is more interesting to do the report after they open, the cash market opens, but I just can't see. I think it's a nothing burger today, and I want to take Jacks on a walk. Like I said, I got some other things to do. <clears throat> I'm also uh, writing a really good video right now that you guys will like. So here's for SPX. They haven't opened yet, but their max profits at 5110, minimum profits at 5088. So that must mean they got about 22 points, something like that, right? What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. I think the profit box. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, 21.35. All right. Well, uh, I always say you can tell by the size of the profit box, the height of the profit box, how much, how much premium they got. Some of these, like look on this day right here, they didn't get hardly any premium, especially compared to the day before. Uh, all right, let's check out Russell, which of course is IWMY. These guys' max profit is 2065, break even is 2050. So, what did they get? They probably got 15 bucks, right? They sold options for 15 bucks, sure enough, 1482. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on those. I'll be back at lunch. Let's look at these single stocks here. What do you guys think about ULTY? Did you say that? Did you see they switched from actually owning the shares to owning to doing synthetics I'm fine with synthetics it's the same difference it makes zero difference but it's harder to keep track of on a spreadsheet it'd been a lot easier if they would have just had the shares synthetics just have more moving parts um, anyway but that was kind of that kind of surprised a lot of people I watched uh, Corey's Corey which is happy camper with dividends video last night and she was the first one to notice it and retire on dividends I watched his video just now I don't think he watched her video because he didn't know about it yet. Yeah, but he goes to bed early. I think Corey's a night owl, or she stays up later than he does. And I think I stay up later than any of them do. All right. Uh, that's why I started doing that late night show. Because I, I get more energy, and I'm late nights are better for me. I get more, I get ideas. I'm more creative at night. Okay, so let's look at these single stocks here. So we're going to check out a little Coney, right? Now, uh, Coney did, and I got this from Retire on Dividends this morning. They did, yeah, the yield max site sucks because it didn't have anything last night. And then Retire on Dividends looked this morning and it said they had a 240 open all of a sudden. So he, he had to figure it out. But uh, anyway, so they, they covered these at a big loss and they rolled up here for next week. So 240 is now our magic number. That's good. So Coinbase has more more room to grow because they were maxed out. Their capital gains were maxed out. And also all the time decay had probably shrunk out of these things. So there's no more time decay to harvest. So yeah, you might as well roll. I've been saying that for days. About to hire me to be the manager. Wouldn't that be great? All right. So uh, now we're going to look at Tesla. Tesla is just going to, they're going to die on the 200 hill. That's, so, and that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so what what else do I do? So, we're going to look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA still has four strikes scattered all over the place. I think they all expired this week. Um, 
I need to check that. My my NVIDIA chart leaves room to be desired, or has a lot of room for improvement, let's just say that. Um, I'm just kind of doing these yield max stocks because I'm getting interested in them too because I'm realizing how important these covered call strategies, it's really important to pick an underlying that goes up 100% if you don't want to lose, if you if you don't want to lose NAV. Now, I don't really care about NAV, but but I do understand it's it's a concern. The only thing I do care about it, I guess when you lose NAV, it, if you don't reinvest dividends, it means you're you're getting paid on a smaller and smaller base. So if you're if you're trying to keep a consistent amount in your account, which is why you reinvest two thirds of the dividend. To me, it's half a dozen to one or six of another. Um, but I'm just starting to get more interested in these, so I figure we could do some simple profit boxes. Let's look at uh, let's look at Misty. Okay, Misty still has these two strikes up here. Um, there's another one. Oh, uh, Nvidia, Kony, Tesla. Yeah, I was also going to say on on Kony, retire on dividends. Just for full disclosure. It, or wait, it wasn't Coney. It was um, maybe it was MST. It was it was Misty. Look, okay, on Misty, yes, on Misty for some godforsaken reason, these guys sold a one thousand strike call, which is it, which is in the money. You know, the the market's at one thousand twenty three right now for the stock. They sold a one thousand call. They just did five contracts. But they did it for today for some reason. Retire on dividends couldn't figure out why they did it. And I really can't either. Most of their actions up here for next week. But I didn't miss it. I just didn't think it was important enough to put a one-day profit box that was only for five contracts in the money. All, that was already in the money on the on the thing. So I didn't add it. But there is there is five contracts down here that they're in the money on. But I'm just concentrating on over the next week in general, we want to see this. We want to see it go up here. That's 40% out of the money. That'd be a, you know, that'd be a hell of a run. All this, there's any stock that can do it. It's it's this one. All right, guys, I'm going to go take Jackson for a walk. Let's see if the cash market opened yet. No, it's 823. All right, I'm going to take Jackson for a walk. And when I get back from a walk, I'm going to work on my video. It's, uh, I have a, uh, I have a uh, earning strategy called uh, the Max Convexity Two Step. Anyway, I'm l I'm looking forward to telling you guys about the strategy. It's been working very well lately. I'm going to do it next week. Uh, we're going to do it next week on a couple of stocks, and we'll see how it goes. But that hopefully that video will be out before noon. All right, you guys have a wonderful morning.